that's no moon. Clear May 27. We are opening the magnetic field. Hello there, and welcome to Docking Bay 327. Today, we finally get to see my next epic room build and how I made this bench bunk with greedlies and pads made out of foam. The frame, this was a struggle building this thing. It took me almost two months to figure out how I was going to make it. And mainly it was the shell around the, you know, the bunk piece because it's inset about 12 inches, 12, 13 inches. So the whole wall here is out about 18 inches, I believe, from the real wall behind it. So I'll walk you through all my steps, how I planned it, how I cut it out, how I built it, and then how I even installed it. I'm super excited. Let's get into it. If you've seen any of my other builds, you probably had an idea what I've been working on. If you haven't, check out the full playlist for all my Falcon Bench builds. I used this reference photo from Galaxy's Edge that I took earlier this year and adjusted the size and layout in Illustrator to fit my corner of the room. I wanted to make the bunk as large as possible within my area so I could display some of my larger props and collectibles. I printed out the bunk on regular 8.5 by 11 paper and taped it all together for the full scale reference. I used half inch MDF for the false wall. Some of the guys in the maker community have started calling me the Jigsaw Jedi, which is both hilarious and kind of true. I rely almost exclusively on my Jigsaw for my projects. I played around with several different concepts for the framing and shell of the bunk, finally settling on a combination of masonite and foam. I was actually hoping the masonite was flexible enough to handle the curves, but it ended up breaking, so I had to improvise with leftover floor mats. My biggest concern for this whole build was how to give it enough strength to hold up over time. I decided to use a section of this wire closet shelving for the largest section of the bottom. I also found that strips of styrene and hot glue work brilliantly for the curves and makes a surprisingly strong bond to the MDF. I then went to work on the panel. It's greebly time! I used small hex bolts to attach all the parts to the back and screwed it into the frame for a nice, sturdy connection. Finally, it was time to cut all the foam shapes that would line the inside of the bunk. This is a grueling process and took several days to cut, round over, sand, and heat seal. Now, I'm not even close to the foam smith that other makers are. I still consider James Culley from the Rebel Base Builds the foam master. But I did use his techniques and other than using a heat gun in the shop when it's 90 plus degrees, it was a fairly enjoyable process. Once that was done, I sprayed a coat of primer and as you can see here, I used whatever I had on hand. I was a little nervous about the red showing through, but the smoky beige still covered it beautifully. I wanted to put it all together in the shop, so I clamped the MDF wall in a 90 degree angle and went to work attaching the bunk to the frame and shelving contraption I put together. Because I used masonite and foam and a minimal frame, it was easy to maneuver and slide into place without any help. Piece of cake. I then glued all the foam pieces to the frame with contact cement. After that, it was all about the accoutrement. <laughs> the iconic conduit that borders the bunk, my insert panel from my last build video, and an aluminum case to attach the hoses and conduit. 
finally, it was ready for install. My buddy Ethan helped me carry it down and hold it in place while I attached it with pocket screws. And here is the final result. So there you go, my epic Falcon Bench bunk that is now an awesome display case for my Millennium Falcon side of the room. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and make sure to hit that alert bell so you'll be notified when I push out new content. Thank you all so much for being patient with this build. I know it definitely took longer than I had hoped it would. but I'm thrilled with how it turned out, and hopefully this is a good example of perseverance. Just sticking with it, even when you get to the point where you're just ready to give up. Because um, that happened a couple different times. <laughs> so, thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for more content. And until next time, build with what you know, and figure out the rest.